Your morning starts now. It's the Q102 Jeff and Jen podcast brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy. Mark is looking for a second date update with a lady named Joanna. Hey, Mark, how are you? Hey, what's going on? Thanks for taking my call. Hey, it's good to talk to you. Thanks Happy for to calling talk to us. You. Thanks for entrusting us yeah. with your love life. Yeah, you know, I hate to have to do this, but honestly, I'm I'm at a loss here. So I guess I'll just go right into it. Yeah, start from the beginning. Tell us how you met Joanna and how the first date went. We'll go from there. Okay, so I met this girl on Tinder, Joanna. Uh, we talked for a few days over the phone and then decided to go out for, for some drinks and a movie. And, you know, I haven't, like, been to a movie theater in forever, so I was... Thought it'd be really nice. I still haven't um, been to a movie theater. I haven't yet. either, and I miss it. I need to go. Yeah, you do. Oh, you gotta go. Yeah. yeah. How was yeah. it? It felt like uh, it felt really weird, and at the same time, it was also like you know, I, I had been yesterday, so it was a weird. I don't know how to describe it really, but yeah, that's good. Um, it was good. I enjoyed it. We saw Black Widow, and she was down with it. You know, my last girlfriend hated superhero movies, so I was pretty pumped that this girl liked them. Like, honestly, that alone, I was like, all right, you're a perfect match. I'm not that picky, so. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> you know, I could put up with a lot. But anyways, she seems like she was digging it, too. So she wasn't having any issues, and that's why I'm sort of confused and why I'm calling you. I'm, like, you know, pretty laid back. Obviously, I'm pretty awesome, as you can tell. <laughs> uh, um, but uh, I don't know. So I'm just wondering why a woman wouldn't like a guy who sort of, like, takes them to Black Widow and lets them do whatever they do and say whatever they want and not get upset or offended or, you know, I'm not trying to control her or in any ways. And that's, you know, You're a laid back kind of guy. Yeah. The perfect guy, you could say, <laughs> you know, we had a few beers, we talked, we laughed, and then we went to the movie, you know, Scar Joe, badass. Scar Joe. <laughs> yeah. Love Scar Love Scar Joe. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, I wonder if, because this is what happens sometimes, some of the feedback that we occasionally get from women on Second Date Update, when we have a guy, a seemingly nice, laid back, chill guy like you, I'm not mm. saying this is the case with you, but sometimes the feedback is, nice guy, laid back, but lacks ambition, or he's a little directionless. <laughs> Are you that guy? I mean- no. Well, I mean, first of all, easy to live. Like, you know, we're not talking about living with each other anytime soon. Yeah. But, you know. But you are looking for a relationship, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, talking about. No, I, I see what you're saying. All right. All right. But <laughs> I got ambition. You know, I want to take over my uncle's business at some point. And before then, I'm just sort of training, you know. Okay. So you're mind. working. You got a full-time job. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, I spend I spend the full amount of my time working. Okay. okay. And is, it, is it a pretty good job with potential? Well, yeah, couple, what do you do? A couple jobs. A couple, couple jobs. Couple uh, jobs. So you work full time, but you have different jobs? Well, I spend the most of my time. Working is sort of how I look at it. Like working full different amount jobs. of my time. Yeah. You're an entrepreneur. Yeah, exactly. Do you have health insurance? <laughs> uh, I, you know, I sometimes. Okay, that's a no. There's yeah. a guy that sits in a white Honda Pilot in a park <laughs> near my house. He's there every day with the windows down, <laughs> hour after hour, day What's or night. What's he doing? He's is he sitting staking in that, you out? Uh, not me. Mm. But uh, he, he's he got to be working, right? That's what I think. He might be a private investigator keeping an eye on is. your house. There's probably a couple rendezvousing there. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's why he can't tell us what he really does, because it'll give away who he is, oh, and he has a super go. secret job. I could be that guy. What kind of work does your uncle do? You talked about maybe taking over your uncle's business. Can you say what he does? Yeah, he's in the car business. He's got a shop. Nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So and he sells cars, too. Okay. Yeah, so I texted her, and... Um, Told her I called her later, walked her to her car, blah, 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 five days ago. And then I called and texted, and she sort of never got back to me. So, okay. I mean, it's been five days, so I'm not sweating it too hard, but I don't know. I guess yeah. I'm calling you, so if you could figure it out, that'd Absolutely. be great. Absolutely. Yeah, we'd be happy to do that. Um, why don't we take a break, and when we come back, we will call Joanna 
and get her take on Mark. This is interesting. I feel like I learned a lot about Mark just now. Mm -hmm. So we'll Same. get Joanna's thoughts and impressions when we come back um, as Second Date Update. All right, first off, love Mark. Sounds like a really cool guy. Very you laid date back. Him. Oh, yeah. Very totally easy to talk to, right? Yeah. You would date him? Sure. How about that, Mark? I mean, hey, I appreciate the compliment. That's nice. But uh, he, he really wants to date is Joanna, or at least find out why she's blowing him off, because they went out on this seemingly fun date, uh, had drinks, went to the movie theater, saw Black Widow, it was great to be out, seemed to get mm -hmm. along real well, and you got a sense at the end of the date that she was open to seeing you again, Mark? I mean, I guess maybe I can sometimes read situations a little differently than how they may appear, but I, really think, it I think it was good. I think it was good. Well, yeah. let's call Joanna. And see what she thought of Mark and uh, his... You want me to, like, pretend like I'm not here or something? Or how does this work? No, you guys, I mean, you, I think a lot of people you know? are hip to it. But, yeah, just kind of hang back and let her talk. And then we'll kind of we'll bring you into the conversation. She may already know the deal, but let's just see how it plays really? out. Really? Yeah. All right, well, hopefully she doesn't think this is <clears throat> weird. Whatever. She probably will, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, I'll hang back. All right, let's call her. Hello. Hello. Is this Joanna? I was speaking. Hi, Joanna. It's Jeff and Jen, along with Fritch and Tim at Q102. How are you? Jeff and Jen. We do the morning show on Q102 Radio. How are you? <laughs> I listen to you guys. Did... Hmm. What? <laughs> she just made the connection. <laughs> and there it is. Did someone call you? It's your turn. Yes, today is your day, Joanna, I, and I hope you're okay with that. You sound like a very nice person based on what Mark said about you. Mark called our show. He told us all about you and your date. And uh. he, <laughs> he sounds like a very nice guy, very laid back. Oh, he's an interesting dude. Yeah, he's easygoing, which I appreciate. He's a, he's a big fish fan, so he's a, like a, you know, kind of... No, I was going to ask about kind of that. Dude. I was going to ask if he was a pothead. Oh. But now we're getting yeah. some more context clues. Let's just say, you know, it was nice to be around someone, especially with everything going on, just someone who wasn't all wound up or heated about <laughs> this issue or that, you know, like every little thing on the news. And, right. Well, I, I don't think he ever watches the news, um, which is equally refreshing and frightening. But that has nothing to do with, with any of that. I just, um, he's a sweet guy. I I don't think we're kind of um, a match. Okay. That's fine. Although I, I think he would appreciate a reason, maybe an explanation as to what it is about him that makes you think he's not a match. Um, well, okay, so... On our date, we went to see Black Widow. And at one point, I just wanted to turn and run out of the theater. Why? Why? Okay, we got our tickets, and he was like, hey, let's go find our seats first, and then we can go back and, you know, maybe grab some candy or popcorn or whatever, something to drink, but let's get our seats first. I was like, sure. So we walked into the theater, um, you know, I was a little bit, like, hesitant I just stood behind the back row because I was like, ooh, I, I wonder if there'll be a lot of people here. And actually, it wasn't that crowded, so it was like, okay. And right as you're in the theater, by the doors were just like a couple of trash barrels. Right. So he looked over at the garbage, and he said, score. And then he <gasps> went over and grabbed one of those refillable big round tubs. The big buckets, oh. you know? the big tubs. Yeah out of the garbage and he started shaking it a little bit oh no it looked like maybe just a couple of maybe napkins and just some like kernels or something then he kind of looked on the outside and then he said hey why don't you grab our seat i'll be right back with our free popcorn oh. yeah, <laughs> I knew it was going this you way. get free refills, yeah. refills in the larger on the sizes. big one oh gross. that's clever oh. No. <laughs> that was my reaction, but like in my head, like my brain was exploding. And he took the tub like out of the garbage and went and got it filled up for 
free. Like I was so stunned. Do it's, they give you a new bag or do they fill up the same bag? It's a it's the bucket. It's the the like so a, it's like a, a circle. Bucket. Yeah, some the of those big places give you a free refill. They just take the tub. So what he did is he reached in. He yeah. reached well, I never stand that, but <laughs> he did a quick inspection. Thought, yeah, it's clean it looks enough. Good. <laughs> yeah. So they just refill the same tub. Yeah, yeah. they just assumed he he bought gone through it. Well, yeah. I understand that, but I'm thinking like. I wouldn't have such a problem with this if, like, every time you went up there, they gave you a new tub. You know what I mean? Well, oh, it's no. still steel. But the fact that they're... I said <laughs> I wouldn't have well, as much too. of a problem. So next that time... That is kind of, you know, a, we have a former theater manager in the room right now. And how, true. What would happen if you were to catch someone red-handed in your theater reusing someone else's refillable tub if that they did honest, not pay I'd for? If I was being honest, I'd say, sorry, sir, even though this popcorn costs us nothing... I can't do that. So there you go. And I was like, isn't that stealing? And, you know, he came back and I just told him, like, I, I don't like the fake butter. So you did not eat any of the stolen popcorn. Oh, yeah. No, I just said I wasn't hungry. And look, I wasn't going to eat stolen popcorn out of a used bucket. <laughs> I just, who knows whose dirty it? fingers I, have been in that thing? What if he told, because oh. you didn't go with him to the to the stand, what if he said, ah, I dropped it, can I get a new one? See, then I gotta charge you because we count by the cups. Yeah, because what if someone was <laughs> licking, I mean, the stealing we count by aside, the <laughs> but what if somebody is licking their fingers and touching and the popcorn and licking the, you know. There's a way of doing Ugh. things. Where is he? Where are you? Do you do this? Do do you do this all the time? So, I mean, I'm just sort of like, how do you think that you like run a business and make money? You gotta you gotta cut some corners and you gotta reuse things and you gotta save money when you can't. So you were recycling. Yeah, exactly. And and I'm conscious of you know the the planet and everything that's going on and you know <laughs> what yeah. a spin. I like that spin. <laughs> and just to clarify the marijuana comment, like that's all medical. I have a license oh. for that. You got your card? Just to clarify nice. the marijuana uh, comment. No. <laughs> hey, uh, Whatever floats your boat, man. It's, 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 it's medicine. Yeah. Oh, no judge. Well, no, I got here. problems sleeping and stuff. <sighs> Thinking about my business and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We I mean, have you ever gotten caught doing that, though? I mean, how, what kind of trouble can you get into for stealing tubs and kicked tubs out, out of at the least, garbage? Right? At the, at the I, worst, you'd be like, "Get out of here!" No. Yeah. No, Come on. I don't You're really banned. See it as stealing. Will they so? ban you from the theater, Jeff? Uh, not in my theater. <laughs> not in my. Not at the Jeff Thomas Theater. <laughs> you know how many people would try stuff like that all the time? Get but out of here! <laughs> Listen, let me ask you this: Is this the equal of carrying in your own snacks and drinks, which technically no. is also kind yeah. of stealing? No, because, because you're not taking you're not their product the money. for free. Because you're not taking their product for free. And so by the way, different. I saw that all the time. I saw these pockets bulging and stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, when you're in there and you hear. And what did you do with that? <laughs> Nothing. You I'm, were you were no tough guy, were you? No. Oh, I didn't get paid enough. So if I walked in with a complete package of fudge stripe cookies underneath my arm <laughs> within my jacket. Well, I was supposed to say, I'm so sorry, sir. You're not allowed to bring outside food into the theater. And so if you turn around and then stuff it under your jacket, as long as I can't see it, I don't care. I wonder if things are different now, though, because no disrespect, but that was a while ago. That was a long time ago. They might do it differently now. People aren't quite as respectful of authority figures such as yourself in the theater. Oh. A lot of people will push back. Uh, yeah. I, I'm there. I pay for these cookies. They're my cookies. If I want to bring them in and eat them, I'm going to bring them in and eat them. I understand, sir. I don't make the rules. What if you made all the popcorn free, you know? As part of the ticket price. They should include it in the ticket price. Well, I can you tell you. people in the theater. I learned that the theater only made 5% off of the movie ticket price. Ooh. That was the 5% other, the only, is it? 5%. The wow. rest went to the studio, distribution, marketing, and all that. The theater's take was only 5%, which is why the concessions are so ridiculously expensive because they're trying to make that mm. money up. So even though the popcorn costs next to nothing, you know, they charge a 6,000% premium or whatever it is. And the mm -hmm. way they measure the inventory is by the cup, the drink huh. cups and the popcorn. All right, well, I got cups. another idea for you. <laughs> popcorn subscription. Okay, so everybody brings in their buckets, <laughs> and you sit, you pay a monthly fee for unlimited popcorn. What do you think about that? I like the way you think, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You might be on to something there. Yeah. Well, at least you guys do. Yeah. 
Joanna, no reconsideration here for a second date, considering his entrepreneurial spirit, his creativity. He is creative. I, <laughs> you're a nice person, Mark. Um, all I have to say. That's okay. Jen, what about That's you? Right. Are you still in? Uh, you know, I... You've heard I, the popcorn I, thing? Have you I, changed I, your mind? I, you know, I'm just not doing any dating right now. Jen, do you want to go on a date? Yes. <laughs> she loves <laughs> the movies. I was going to say, and I she just said she hasn't been Super to the movies, movies in a while. And I have said that I missed popcorn, and I'm all about saving a buck or two. But I think, you know, we should make it very clear that in no way, shape, or form do we encourage or condone this is taking feeling. empty buckets out of the garbage at any yes. movie theater or at any time can you, and in securing yourself some st- stolen popcorn it's can not you okay. uh, splurge on the popcorn purchase if you take jen out oh, oh either that or i would even offer to pay oh, for the lovely. popcorn to avoid any kind of illegal I like activity. a new age woman <laughs> <laughs> who paid for the day I did, so he wouldn't steal. <laughs> <laughs> and that's probably exactly yeah. what my dating life this is, is going to look like. This is what she saved herself all these years for. <laughs> was for this that's arrangement. Awesome. For this setup. Yeah. yeah. All Aww, right, guys. Well, listen, uh, Joanna, thank you for taking the call and explaining uh, what the situation was. Uh, Mark, I'm sorry, but you sound like a very nice guy. Something tells us you're going to land on your feet. Buddy. Yeah, we wish you well. Oh, yeah. No, I, I think I'm doing fine. Yeah, well, you're saving a ton of money, so. Yeah, well, I hope popcorn isn't a gateway stealing item, you know what I mean? That's where it starts. I know. Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast, brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy. Look, staying healthy isn't easy. Watching your diet, hitting the gym, avoiding stress. But a good night's rest helps boost your overall health and wellness. And it couldn't be easier. The Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed effortlessly adjusts and responds to both of you. The result? You wake up ready for anything. Proven quality sleep is life-changing sleep. And now save $1,000 on the Sleep Number 360 Special Edition Smart Bed. Only for a limited time. To learn more, go to sleepnumber.com.